Docker has become an integral part of modern software development. Most likely you might be using Docker for your production workloads like using Kubernetes or you might be just using Docker for your local development environments. So how do you use Docker? Typically you use our Docker desktop for Mac or Windows or uh, Linux and then uh, it automatically installs not only Docker, it also installs Docker Compose and then it comes up with this nice UI, GUI tool and you can see what are the images uh, that are already there on your uh, local uh, system and then what are the containers that are already running and volumes so all this information you can see and if there are any containers running you can uh, see the logs and you can stop start and you can manage the containers however in the recent times docker uh, created a license for using docker desktop according to it if uh, it is free for uh, small companies which has uh, fewer than 250 employees and less than 10 million uh, in annual revenue so uh, many companies just to be on the safer side they don't want to use docker desktop so in that case uh, i would like to present you this tool called portainer which provides uh, not only the similar uh, set of features, they provide a lot more than that. Uh, it's a very nice tool to use. So let us see how we can use Portainer. So what exactly is Portainer? Portainer is nothing but a container management solution. So it has a lot of features, but let us focus on what we typically use. So how we can install Portainer? Uh, let us, first we need to create a volume to store the portainer data so here i am creating a volume and then we can we can go to portainer.io and then go to resources documentation and here there is install portainer set up a new portainer server installation and we are using docker standalone and here if you scroll down there are two editions one is business edition which is a commercial one which is a, a, another community edition so here first you need to create this volume which we have done and then we can run this command so it's going to pull this portainer container uh, ce community edition and then run the application which we can access on port 9443 let us access the portainer using https localhost 9443 so if it is the first time it's going to ask us to uh, accept this insecure connection and then it asks us to provide the uh, admin username and password so by default i am using this uh, username as admin and then i am creating a password I'm creating the user so when I create the user and then logged into the system for the first time it automatically added the local docker installation environment once you logged into the system you can choose which environment you want to explore here we have only one local environment so if you go into that environment you can see uh, how many containers are running how many images are there in your local uh, system so here if i click on this containers i can see there are four containers running uh, currently one is portainer itself and then there are few other uh, one of the spring boot application one postgres database another one is pg hero so i am running all these containers and here if you go back to home uh, here you can see images uh, you can see all the list of images that are uh, pulled onto your local laptop and uh, here you can see all the containers and also you can see uh, all the volumes that are uh, created so you can explore all these details and if you go to containers let us say uh, you want to see the logs of this particular spring boot application uh, so here 
if you click on this one you can see a lot more details about your container uh, what are the environment variables that are mapped and um, the configuration port mapping configuration so you can see volumes information so you can see a lot more details and um, the nice thing is you can see the logs here so here I am using Hibernate and you can see a lot of uh, logs from it and you can even filter out uh, let's say I want to see a particular uh, string so here it filter out and then show uh, logs so another uh, feature uh, you can see uh, how much memory it is uh, taking CPU uses and all those details and also I can attach a shell to the container using this console. So here I would say connect. So here right now I am inside the container of DevZone application and which is a Spring Boot application. So I should be able to curl this actuator localhost 8080 slash actuator. So I see the response from the Spring Boot application actuator endpoints. So like that you can uh, connect to this container and then run any commands within it. So let us disconnect and go back. And also you have this uh, ability to stop the container, restart, uh, pause, resume and you can even uh, remove the container. So you can manage the container just using this uh, UI elements. In addition to that, if you go to app templates, it will show some of the most popular uh, Docker images which you can uh, use to spin up the container. So if you click on this and you can simply run a uh, provide if required any details and then deploy the container. It will automatically spin up a container from this uh, image and then create a container. Um, what you can do, you can click on this custom templates and here add custom template so maybe you have some docker compose uh, to run a set of containers right so you can give some title here and then uh, you can choose the platform and then you can paste your docker compose content over here or even you can select a file if you have uh, a file docker compose file you can even select that file and then just deploy the containers it's going to spin up all those containers uh, from this so basically if you are fine to use uh, a docker from your command line um, that is absolutely fine but if you are like me who likes to use a GUI this portainer provides a lot of features and it is relatively very easy to see once in a while you might be pulling too many images which is occupying so much of space on your uh, laptop so you want to clean it up so here you can simply come here and then choose what uh, images you don't want anymore you can simply remove them so it's very easy to manage all this so not only docker uh, it's possible to add uh, uh, kubernetes environments and then you can manage all the parts and everything but uh, you can explore that on your own so this portainer utility is really helpful and it's an amazing tool to use so feel free to explore and use it